Welcome to BitBeacon. In this video, we'll be giving a tour of both the guest and admin experiences. We'll start by showing how guests are joining and bidding in an auction, and then we'll dive into how admins can start setting up their online auction. So to begin, as a guest, we'll start by logging into BitBeacon. And if you don't already have an account, you can register by signing in with your Apple ID through Facebook, Google, or you can create an account using an email address. And once you've done that, we can sign in. So we'll enter the e email, the password, and we'll log in. This will take us to the dashboard screen. And when we're here, this is where we can join an auction. And keep in mind that auction admins can send invitation emails within the app, or they can simply copy and share their auction link and access code with guests. So if you've received an access code from an auction admin, we can click on the join an auction button and then enter the access code. Here we have a demo auction giving for good. So we'll click the join button. And this will bring us to the auctions detail page, which presents the following information. So we can learn more about the auction itself and the cause that they support. Down below, we can see some of the auction items and preview what's up for bid. We can learn more about the organization itself. And we can view all of the sponsors of the event. And if the auction is also running a raffle through Raffle Rocket, they can link the two and auction guests can now participate and buy tickets to the raffle as well. And lastly, we have a frequently asked questions section. So if you're wondering how you got to pay for your winnings or you collect your winnings, all of those answers can be found here. And now let's enter the auction and try and bid on some items. And on this browse screen, we can see all of the categories that the auction host has set up. So we can see that there is a gift baskets category as well as an experiences category. And clicking either of those two will filter down the list of items based on that specific category. Otherwise, you could scroll down and view all of the categories at once. And if you come across an item that you like and you want to kind of monitor throughout the event, you can hit the favorite icon. And if you go to your menu, you can view your favorites at any time. You can also message the auction admin if you have questions about the auction or about specific items. So let's say we want to place a bid on Day at the Spa. It's currently at $125 and there's two bids. So let's go and view. So we have the image. We can click into it to expand. We can also then see the time remaining for the item, read more about the item itself. We can see who donated the item and then view the previous two bids on the item. So it's at $125 right now and the minimum increment is $10. So we'll need to place a bid of $135 in order for the bid to go through successfully. You can bid more, but it has to be a minimum of $10. So $135 is the minimum. So we'll go ahead and place that bid. We get the confirmation message and we'll see that now our new user has placed that bid for $135. And if throughout the event we get outbid, we'll receive a notification within the app letting us know that we've been outbid as well as we'll receive an email notification saying that we've been outbid and there'll be a link that'll send us right back to the auction if we want to place a new bid. And if you do end up winning an auction item, you'll receive an email notifying you of instructions on how to pay and claim for your prize. And that does it for the guest walkthrough. If you're interested to learn more about the auction creation from an admin perspective, please stick around. Otherwise, thank you for watching and happy bidding. Welcome to part two of this video where we'll cover the steps to setting up an online auction as an admin. Now it may seem daunting at first to build an online auction from scratch. Fear not though, our creation wizard is simple and will guide you through each of the steps. So to start, be sure that you're accessing BidBeacon through a web browser and not the downloaded app. 
and when in your dashboard under active auctions instead of joining an auction we'll want to create the auction so we'll click the create button this will take you to the setup wizard where you can start to enter in the auction name and settle on the start and end dates and times and once that is all good we can continue and the next step we'll be entering in details about the organization and if you end up hosting multiple auctions through Bid Beacon, the organization details from past auctions can be used to pre-fill this section. But as a first-time admin, you'll need to enter in these details manually. And once you've entered all your organization details and everything looks good, we can click on Create Auction. And here, Bid Beacon offers the most flexible pricing options available. Our first plan is the ultimate risk-free auction. And by far, this provides admins with the best value possible. With this plan, you'll gain access to all of BidBeacon's features. You can have unlimited guests, items, images, admins, and you can even host auctions for up to one year. The best part? There's no upfront cost. You don't pay out of pocket. We simply take a small percentage of your auction's total amount raised. Alternatively, you can start from scratch and build your auction. You decide how many guests, items, images, and admins you'll need, and which features you'd like to use. Once you confirm those details, we charge an upfront flat rate fee. And if you want to test out BidBeacon before committing to an auction plan, you can skip this step and choose a plan later. So for now, let's skip. Lastly, we can review the auction details that we entered, and if everything looks good, we can proceed to the auctions dashboard. And from the dashboard, we have the auction overview screen where you can review your auction size. So we can track the number of guests, how many admins we have, the number of images, and the number of items in use. We also have quick actions available to make the lives of admins easier. So you can click on each of the tiles to take you to its corresponding page. And we also present the features that are currently enabled or inactive in the auction. And inactive features can be enabled by selecting the ultimate risk-free plan or by purchasing the appropriate add-ons individually. And if you've chosen the ultimate risk-free plan, again, you'll have access to every feature and you'll have no limitations on the number of guests, admins, images, and items. And on the left side, we have the admin navigation pane, which has several sections available. So we recommend starting at the top and working your way down to fully complete your auction setup. And again, we're very excited for you to try out Bid Beacon. If you have any more questions, check out our website to find the next available live Q&A session. Otherwise, you can email us at support at bidbeacon.com to request our assistance. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your upcoming fundraising event.